And welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Prairie Dog. Special K, and tonight we have a Bamboo product. This is Bamboo Cream. Um, it's a liqueur. It's 15% alcohol by volume. So Bamboo is some kind of wrapper endorsed rum. I can't remember which wrapper. Okay. But we had the rum and it was absolutely killer. I recently saw their cream and had to give it a try. Now the problem I have with this right off the bat is it is $32 for a bottle. And most cream liqueurs are maybe $20, $25 for a bottle. So not that much. The bottle's nice. Um, does need to be refrigerated once it's opened. I've seen it as cheap as $29, depending on where you get it at. But again, if, have you ever had bamboo rum? No. Uh, it's the best rum I've ever had. I'm excited. So rum cream, I expect this to be hitting the rum chata. That is a weird looking cork. What an interesting wow. butt plug. <laughs> let you try that out later. All right. That's not the color I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more, uh, oh, more yeah. white. Me too. That smells like rum chata, like straight up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So That's not a bad thing. No, but rum chata is $8 cheaper. So, All right, color. It's rum chata color. Nose. It's not quite as cinnamon as rum chata. Yeah. Just kind of creamy cinnamon. I don't really get too much rum in there per se. No. It smells like a higher proof than it is. It's again, 30 proof or 15% alcohol. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. <coughs> I guess I don't die first. That's awesome. No burn, no, no alcohol. I don't think it's quite as thick as um, rum chata. It's not. It's not quite as sweet as rum chata. It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I mean, um, really good. It's got just a little bit of alcohol sizzle, but not in an off-putting way. It's it's really nice. Now, I feel like the cinnamon flavor isn't quite as good as rum chata. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. But overall, the texture, the sweetness level, um, I think it's better than rum chata in that aspect. Um, I agree. Really, really good. Problem is the price. Again, it's high for, you know, the only other competition I can think of really is rum chata. Yeah. Um, you have Bailey's and stuff like that, but those are coffee liqueurs. This is a rum, like a rum liqueur. Um, it's interesting they call it a rum liqueur when they're more, they're sort of akin to like a rum chata. That's where it's going towards. It doesn't say that anywhere in the bottle, but that's definitely what it tastes like it's going towards. Absolutely. If you know what a rum chata is, it's sort of like horchata. It's like a cinnamon rice milk thing except super sweet and alcoholic yeah i would say this one's a little bit more like eggnog rather than horchata a little bit um, like it a lot uh over eh. even though it's a celebrity endorsed thing i think that's probably why it's got that such a high price tag you know wrappers and whatnot yeah uh i probably still give this uh, i'm gonna go with a nine really uh it's that good i mean i really enjoy it i think the downside to me is the price and i think the cinnamon isn't quite as good so we'll go yeah. with a nine. Um, I'm gonna go with an eight. Um, I I definitely think this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's it's really awesome. Um, for me, the the price is is a big factor there, and it you can't talk about this and not talk about rum chata. And in that way, I, I just think that the price being, they're they're pretty comparable. Mm -hmm. but I'd rather go with the cheaper product. Um, and they're even off brand porchatas at this point, but those are um, not. You can tell there's a different quality. Um, now, here's the question. We normally mix something at this point in the show, but I don't have anything to mix it with, so we're just going to talk about something this would be mixed with, uh, mixed well with. Probably like coffee. Mm -hmm. Actual horchata would probably be really, really good with this one. Anything that's um, dairy based, you could probably make some sort of float with it if you had some ice cream and uh, soda and stuff like that. I think this would be awesome, even if you just had this glass but filled it with a few ice cubes first. For sure. I think that'd be great. Uh, I'm curious if there's a way. I bet you, you probably could turn this into ice cream. Mm -hmm. it's something we need to experiment on the show with. That would be pretty fucking cool. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, I like, you know, mixability is limited with a lot of dairy liqueurs. You have to be careful with curdling. So, like, yeah. uh, stuff that's very acidic or pretty carbonated, it tends to curdle. Um, this would probably mix well, believe it or not, with something like uh, like a nitro stout. So, like Guinness. Oh, that's probably great. go with the, you know, go with Guinness. You'd have a really strong, you know, 12% creamy creamy kind of drink like that it would be pretty good like coffee drink yeah. like i said obviously like cold brew coffee now it's a new thing with hipsters is like cold brew coffee and 
nitro coffee and all that. I don't know if my wife's into the colder coffee, but that would be a good one. Yeah. Um, product overall, do I recommend it? Uh, I do. Uh, I think it has its place. It is overpriced, uh, but if you're a rum chata fan and you want a good cream liqueur, I think this is a good way to go. What do you think? Um, I agree completely. Uh, it it is expensive comparatively, um, but that being said, if you enjoy rum chata, you should absolutely give this a try. Um, I really, really like that the consistency is different on this. It's mm -hmm. much lighter. Yeah. Um, that makes it very drinkable. Um, definitely give it a try. Definitely. You know, they make these, uh, the Rebel Coffee, they make these 5% alcoholic coffees nowadays. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of them are missing stuff. Uh, I think this would be a good addition to those. To, I'll bump up that ABV to like 10 or 12% and make them a little creamy and a little sweetness. Yeah. Because a lot of them, like I said, they come out and they're cold brew, so they don't have any sugar. They're just, it's just coffee alcoholic dry cold coffee and it's just not good this would probably put something like that over the top i know kirkland even has some non-alcoholic cobra coffees in a can that this would go really well with i agree but all right that has been our episode if there's something you'd like to see on the channel you can leave a comment down below don't forget to hit that like button i'm special k and i'm prairie Dog. Thanks, thanks for watching, watching.